Now we're going to look at the top level opposition that these guys have faced. And Ring Magazine basically notes every year the top 10 boxers in the whole world and also lineal champions. So if I was looking at Vladimir Klitschko, for instance, Vladimir Klitschko began his career back in 1996 with Floyd Mayweather. Okay, He became world champion in 2000, beating Chris Bird. At the time, Chris Bird was not uh, top 10 competition in the world. He faced his first top 10 competition in the world in 2002 when he faced Jamil McCline. He then went on to face his next top 10 competition in the world in Chris Bird, who was actually the number one heavyweight in the world at the time. He went on to face Lamont Brewster, who he had faced and lost to, and he beat Lamont Brewster, who was at the time a top 10 heavyweight in the world. He then faced Sultan Ibrahimov and beat him, as well as Tony Thompson in 2008. Ruslan Chagave was the first number one ranked fighter in the world, at least below himself and his brother. Then Eddie Chambers was another top 10 contender. And David Hay was another number one contender in the world. He then faced Alexander Povetkin, who was a number one contender in the world, below himself and his brother. Kubrat Pulev was another number one contender in the world. Brian Jennings was a top 10 contender. And Tyson Fury currently is a top 10 contender in the world. So that Vladimir Klitschko, at this point in time in his career, has faced 12 top 10 ranked opponents, 5 number 1 ranked opponents in the world, and no lineal champions so far. He's also been undefeated for 10 years, and in terms of skill, we rank him as number 2 skilled fighter in the world, at least below Floyd Mayweather, who's number 1. Roman Gonzalez began his career in 2005. He beat the number one fighter in the world at the time at minimum weight, Yutaka Niida. He then went on to face Katsunari Takayama, who was a top 10 minimum weight fighter in the world at the time. He then went on to face Ramon Garcia Hyralis, who was a top 10 light flyweight in the world. His next top 10 flyweight in the world was against Akira Yagashi, who was the lineal champion at flyweight. He beat the lineal champion to become the lineal champion of the world. He then beat Rocky Fuentes, who was a top 10 fighter, and then Edgar Sulksa, who was another top 10 fighter. And he's going to be facing Brian Valoria, who's another top 10 flyweight in the world. So, in the end, Roman Gonzalez, he's faced 7 top 10 ranked opponents, 2 number 1 ranked fighters in the world, boxers, and 1 lineal champion. He's been undefeated for 10 years since the beginning 2005 to 2015. His skill set we rank as number three behind Vladimir Klitschko. The last person is Floyd Mayweather. Of course he is presently the pound for pound king. His career began the same time as Vladimir Klitschko 1996. His first world championship was against the number one super featherweight in the world at the time Gennaro Hernandez. He went on to face top ten opponent Angel Manfredi. He then went on to face the number one super featherweight in the world, even above himself, Diego Corrales. He then faced top 10 contender Jesus Chavez. Then he faced the number one lightweight in the world, Jose Luis Castillo. He would then go on to face the top 10 contender DeMarcus Corley at super lightweight. He then faced Arturo Gatti, the number two ranked super lightweight in the world below the lineal champion Costa Zoo. He then went on to face top 10 contender Zab Judah, lineal champion Carlos Baldemir at welterweight, number six ranked super welterweight in the world Oscar De La Hoya, lineal champions Ricky Hatton and Juan Manuel Marquez, Number 
two ranked welterweight in the world, Shane Mosley below Manny Pacquiao. Number three ranked welterweight in the world, Victor Ortiz. Number one ranked super welterweight in the world, Miga Cotto. Top 10 ranked welterweight in the world, Robert Guerrero. Number one ranked super welterweight in the world, Saul Alvarez. Top 10 contender in the world, Marcos Maidana. And number two ranked welterweight in the world at the time, Manny Pacquiao. And the only person who is not ranked in that elite list of fighters is Andre Berto. He's not ranked by the ring in the top 10. He is by the WBA number one ranked contender in that sanctioning body. But that is, of course, not truly reflective of the division. And this is the first time in almost nine years that Floyd Mayweather has not fought a top 10 contender. So Floyd Mayweather in his career has fought 17 top 10 ranked opponents, seven number one ranked opponents, and three lineal champions. Floyd Mayweather himself is a three-time lineal champion. Vladimir Klitschko is a one-time lineal champion as well as Roman Gonzalez. He's been undefeated for 19 years and his skill set is number one compared to the other pound for pound fighters we just mentioned. Now both Floyd Mayweather and Vladimir Klitschko will go down in history as all-time greats as well as Hall of Famers and Roman Gonzalez is still building his legacy. However when you look at the fact that Roman Gonzalez has no defeats and Vladimir Klitschko has lost three times to fighters who were not ranked in the top 10 rankings in his particular division. That is one of the major reasons why Roman Gonzalez at this point in time is ranked above Vladimir Klitschko. Also to the fact that he has raised his level of competition and has been fighting top 10 contenders on a much more regular basis. The level of opposition is much higher for um, a Floyd Mayweather than Roman Gonzalez and Vladimir Klitschko but Roman Gonzalez because he has had fewer fights he actually has a ratio of beating top tier opponents that are comparable to Vladimir Klitschko so you can see that the ring is spot on with their pound for pound rankings um, more than likely Roman Gonzalez has a higher plus to minus ratio than Klitschko does and he also has comparably the same knockout ratio and comparably the same level of opposition in terms of ratio in terms of his wins that that Klitschko has it's about the same thing so that's why Roman Gonzalez at present is ranked above Vladimir Klitschko of course how he performs against Brian Valoria will tell us if he stays where he's at or if he moves down the rankings.